of 1984 is often labeled as a riot but the evidence for it being a genocide is much stronger these were not random attacks by an angry mob but a carefully orchestrated small-scale genocide one example of this is the congress party members giving voter list to the attackers as the sixth name was identified along with his address on the night of october 31st homes of six were marked with the letter s so the attackers could identify their homes the following day Another fact is that most of the police officers joined in with the assailants to attack Six and would dearm Six by assuring them that they will not be harmed, only for them to let the attackers in later. The police had a lot of power, but instead of trying to combat the violence, they endorsed it. An example of where officers used their power for good is when Maxwell Pereira saw a mob as Algodora Sea Gunch. He and only around 20 other officers were against a mob of hundreds. He yelled at them to leave, but they wouldn't. As they got closer, he shot one person in the crowd, and the rest of the attackers all fled from the Godwara. He saved hundreds in North District where he was stationed in Delhi. The officers in the other districts only stood by and watched as thousands were murdered. He was not recognized at all for his efforts by the Indian government. Here's what he says about police officers during 1984. None of these officers and men of the North District who controlled the riots and saved lives of many Sikhs got any recognition or reward for doing their duty. This is in stark contrast to some of our colleagues elsewhere who even received gallantry medals for killing scared and paranoid Sikhs who unfortunately opened fire on the police while trying to defend themselves.